Here's a brief introduction to colour confinement in particle physics. Before we do anything, I want to introduce a few new concepts to you, the first of these being the standard model of particle physics itself. The standard model is a theory of the fundamental particles and how they interact via the strong, weak and electromagnetic forces. When we say fundamental, what we mean is that these are the smallest building blocks of nature. They are the particles that make up atoms and even protons and neutrons. We can organise these particles into something akin to a periodic table, which is arranged according to their properties. We have the quark sector, the leptons and the force carrying particles, bosons. A recent addition to the boson sector is the Higgs, which you've probably heard of. We'll be primarily concerned with the quark sector and their corresponding boson, the gluon, as these are the particles which interact by the strong force and are hence subject to colour confinement. There are six flavours of quarks, up, down, charm, strange, top and bottom, and each have their own corresponding antiparticle, anti-up, anti-down, and so on. The upper row of quarks all have fractional charge plus two-thirds, and the bottom row minus one-third. All of the quarks are further arranged into three families, and as we move up the families, the masses of the quarks increase. In addition to all of this, the quarks and the gluon carry a special property called colour. There are three possible colours, red, green and blue, each with its own anti-colour. However, the quarks and the gluon themselves aren't actually coloured. We could equally well have chosen purple or yellow or any other label, A, B or C. The name itself isn't what's important. What's important is that colour is to quantum chromodynamics, the theory of how the quarks interact, as charges to electromagnetic interactions called quantum electrodynamics in the standard model. Anything with charge will feel the electromagnetic force and interact with other charges, just like anything with colour will feel the strong force and interact with other colours. The photon, which makes up light, is a fundamental particle that carries a force between electric charges. The gluon is a strong force analogue, but in contrast to the photon, which doesn't itself carry electric charge, always carries one unit of colour and one unit of anti-colour, meaning it can interact with itself. So what is colour confinement? Though we seem to know so much about the quarks, the truth is we've never seen one in isolation. Colour confinement dictates that quarks must be bound together in groups, and that these groups, just as white light is made up of all the colours of the spectrum, must be colourless. There are therefore just two possibilities. Either three quarks of a different colour combine to form something called a baryon, which includes a proton or neutron, or two quarks made up of a colour and anti-colour pair combine to form a meson. Both bound states are collectively referred to as hadrons. So what happens if you try to pull apart two quarks? Unlike the electromagnetic force, which decreases in strength as you pull apart two charges, the strong force gets stronger the more you pull. It's much like trying to pull apart an elastic band. Remember Einstein's famous energy mass relation? Eventually so much energy has been dedicated to pulling the quarks apart that from this energy two new quarks can be created. And so instead of snapping the first elastic band, you always end up with a second. So there's my brief introduction to colour confinement. Hopefully it was useful.